Doctors have attacked a plan for Queensland pharmacists to give flu vaccinations. The Australian Medical Association says it's potentially dangerous and should be stopped. But pharmacists say they have all the necessary skills to boost immunisation rates. The AMA says this is a job for doctors and nurses. But soon some Queensland pharmacists will also give flu vaccinations despite concerns they aren't adequately trained. You've got to understand about immunisation, about how to explain it and about how to respond to potential, well, potentially life-threatening side effects that can occur. This will actually lead to better outcomes for patients and ensuring that there will be more people that actually get their influenza vaccines. To qualify, pharmacists must complete an online course and a face-to-face -face session. They will have the appropriate training for managing anaphylaxis. Uh, you don't need to, need to do a medical degree to, to give an injection. It shouldn't be done you know, in a room full of toothpaste and toilet paper. The AMA has voiced its fears in a letter to the state's chief health officer. We have so many concerns with uh, safety in this circumstance. We're calling on the chief health officer in Queensland to call off this trial. But the Pharmacy Guild says the AMA's criticisms are not driven by concerns about patients, but by their preference to retain control over all aspects of the health system. The Queensland University of Technology and James Cook University will both investigate how well this program works, including whether it encourages more people to be immunised. The pilot could lead to pharmacists offering more medical services in the future. We're very highly trained and underutilised in the health sector. Doctors are experts in medicine. We work well together. We should stay within our areas. The trial should be in place in up to 100 community pharmacies in time for the next season. Brad Ryan, ABC News, Brisbane.